Sightfill's Spacetop laptop uses augmented reality glasses to create a 100-inch virtual display. The laptop does not have a screen. It is designed for business travelers who want a massive private display. The Spacetop has an optimized ARM processor and runs on an open-source Android operating system. The tethered headset provides a 53-degree diagonal field of view. Pictures and a video showing off the device are available in the article. Sanctuary AI has unveiled a bipedal robot called Phoenix. The robot is 5 feet 7 inches and weighs 155 pounds. It is capable of lifting up to 55 pounds and traveling at up to 3 miles an hour. Phoenix has hands with 20 degrees of freedom. The company claims that Phoenix's hands rival human hand dexterity. Phoenix is designed to be a general-purpose robot. A video showing the robot's design is available in the article. This package provides everything related to UI when building a Nuxt application. It supports HMR, dark mode, keyboard shortcuts, and bundled icons. Nuxt is a framework for creating type-safe, performant, and production-grade full-stack web applications and websites with Vue. JS. Jest is a human-readable data serialization format that can create documents that contain an eclectic set of sections representing various types of data. This article looks at VLC Media Player, its history, features, how it can be used, its plans for the future, and the open source community behind the project. The process of tokenization is not uniform across languages. A sentence in some languages could cost 10 times more tokens than a similar message in English. Domestication of animals usually contributes to a sharp decline in brain size, but a new study shows that some dog species' brains are increasing in size as they move evolutionarily away from wolves. Apple's augmented reality headset's development was hampered by Tim Cook's relative non-involvement in the project. People familiar with the project said that it cost Apple over $1 billion annually. Some of Apple's top executives have shown concern about the project. The project has changed direction significantly since work began. Apple has reportedly lowered its sales estimates for the headset. Scientists at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich have created a sapphire crystal that exists in a quantum mechanical superposition of two vibrational states. The 16-microgram crystal is the largest object ever to exist in the state of quantum superposition. Larger objects do not follow quantum mechanics, even though they are composed of particles that obey the rules of quantum mechanics. Finding larger quantum superposition states is a way for scientists to stretch the limit of observed quantum mechanical objects. OpenAI has released a free chat GPT app for iPhones in the US. The app supports voice input and it synchronizes chat history with the web version of the iAssistant. Chat GPT Plus subscribers have access to similar features as the web version. The app will roll out to more countries in the coming weeks. It will be available for Android, soon. Screenshots from the app are available in the article. This page contains a small suite of command line tools for working with chat GPT and GPT-4. LLM is a tool for sending prompts to OpenAI APIs. TTOK is a tool for counting and truncating text based on tokens. Strip tags is a tool for stripping HTML tags from text and outputting a subset of a page based on CSS selectors. These tools are designed to support working with language model prompts using Unix pipes. Google added eight new top-level domains, TLDs, to the internet two weeks ago. Security experts have warned that two of these domains, zip and .mov, may cause confusion when displayed in emails, social media, or elsewhere. Threat actors can easily register domain names with these TLDs to lure people into clicking and downloading malicious content. Google said in a statement that it would monitor the usage of the new TLDs for any threats. The conditions that drove scaling challenges two decades ago have changed. Workloads that operate over a dataset nearing 100 terabytes can now run reasonably on a single instance. Meta is developing an in-house chip capable of both training AI models and running them in a chip designed for the processing needs of video on demand and live streaming.